Hi everyone. So today, this is actually going to be my third time filming this video. I did film it earlier this morning. Uh, it's Saturday night now. Um, and I'm probably not going to post this until Sunday morning. Um, or actually it's going to be, um, yeah, it's going to go live Sunday. Anyways, uh, this is my part two Hobonichi haul. <laughs> so I went ahead and joined the um, Hobonichi group order um, on the Facebook group that's called Hobonichi Buy and Sell. The admin of the group had um, graciously um, organized a group order. She did one in September when they um, went ahead, when Hobonichi went ahead and released all of the uh, um, all of the new covers basically and items for 2022. That order was like massive. I think she, I don't know how many people were on it, but I know that she, she received like what, eight boxes <laughs> of planners and covers. So I missed it. Um, I was like, I think a couple hours too late to, uh, join the order. So she told me to wait because there would be another group order in October. So I was able to join that one and I got the order actually yesterday, Friday. Um, so I, I didn't order a lot because I only ordered just covers. Um, so here's what I got. So there's a little story time on this video here. So this is the, um, shall we have tea? I think that's what it's called, uh, cover. So this is an A6. I actually ordered an A5. And when I got my order yesterday, I was kind of like, did I order A6 or wasn't it A5? Because I was like confused because I know I was kind of going back and forth whether I was, you know, wanted to go ahead and get the A5. But in the end, I did order the A5 and it was bugging me so much that um, after I had filmed the, <laughs> the video, um, I went ahead and contacted the group admin and asked her, you know, did I, did, can you check to see what I really ordered? Because she used a Google sheet and it was closed. So I couldn't go back to see what I ordered. And I just, you know, I asked her, did I really order a six or did I order a five? So she contacted me a couple hours later and turns out I did order the a five. She had by mistake ordered the a six. So, I mean, I'm not mad or anything, you know, just the mere fact that she was, organ you know, that she organized the group order. I'm just, I'm just happy that I was able to get these covers without having to pay a lot of money. So um, she offered for me to send this back to her and she would order the A5 at no cost and ship it to me. Um, that was really great of her to do. So, you know, I'm going to go ahead and mail this back to her on Monday. She's already sent me the shipping label. I'm sorry, shipping label. And yeah, it's a good thing I haven't opened it. So, but this is what, you know, the cover looks like. I mean, it's the same thing with the um, A5. But yeah, because I really wanted to just like keep my Animal Crossing one um, to the side since it's it's probably one of the most popular covers that they've had in quite a while. I mean, that one sold out so fast and um, I might, you know, I might resell it in a couple of years when it's much harder to find. So, um, but in the meantime, I will use the A5 version of this as my planner cover for next year. So, yeah, I got that. And then what I also ordered was the A6 in Dreamy Soda. It's so beautiful. I just love this color and with this like peachy pink, you know, kind of color. Um, now this is, an, this is an A6 and I did want an A6 because... Um, I, I don't know why I didn't think about ordering the Hobonichi paper or Hobonichi notebook. It's the one that's, um, undated, uh, w just with grid paper. And I realized too late that I should have ordered one, but that's okay. Cause I'm going to get it from jet pens, but I'm going to put one in here and this will be like where I'm going to, um, do all of like the washi samples. Um, you know, like, um, just brain dump, whatever things that, you know, just come to mind and just write in here instead of doing it in one of my traveler's notebook inserts. So yeah, so I got this cover and then I did pick up an extra cover on cover just in case, but I forgot that I already had a cover. <laughs> so this is okay. It's a good backup. Um, I'm going to use this one right here that I got from little craft place. This is by Molinta Molinta. It was $7.99. I got this last year 
uh, when she still had some left. And um, I wish I'd been able to get the A5 version of it because it would look good on um, the current A5 that I have now. I can't even think of the name of it. So let me go ahead and put it on. We'll do it right now. This is so pretty. So I felt like this would be, and I wasn't sure, will this fit? You know, it didn't dawn on me to like try it on my other A6 um, covers, but then again, I'm not really using them. I was just saving it for a really good cover. Okay, so we got that in. And who knows, I mean, you know, I might get tired of using an A5 and switch to A6, maybe in 2023. So there, got it on, and that's how it looks. Isn't that pretty? It probably would look nice against a pink, you know, maybe the this color, but that's okay, because, you know, I still like the Sakura design, so yeah. So that works out. Definitely going to save this and reuse this sheet. Um, I also forgot to mention, I went on Etsy and found a Japanese seller that was selling the Hobonichi pen and the souvenir spoon from this year's lineup. Um, I mean, I don't need the pen, but come on, it's mint green, you know, and I just love that color. So I had to get the pen and it was a bonus, of course, to get the spoon. It's really cute. Um, you're supposed to like just attach it, you know, on here. Um, I might go do that later on. So yeah, that is the Hobonichi haul. So <laughs> there's going to be a part three when I get the uh, A5 cover. So um, yeah, I hope you guys are having a great weekend and I will be posting another haul. All right, bye-bye.